It's a real, it's an honour and a surprise to, to be elected to fellowship. The peer community of other scientists is saying to me that the work I've been doing for the last 10, 20 years is valuable and interesting and that I've made a really significant contribution to my field of science. We talk about standing on the shoulders of giants. You know, we, we can do what we can do today because so many previous generations of sci scientists uh, progressed the field up and up. Where is the field going to be in 50 years' time? I don't know, but I can look back. 50 years ago, we knew so little. It was almost laughable how little information we had and how rudimentary the tools were at that time. Uh, science is just this continuous process of building on other people's ideas. So it, it's, it's nice to be included in that list of scientists who are acknowledged as having made steps along the ladder of scientific progress. I'm, I'm the first fellow of the Royal Society to be elected from UCD since 1947. The previous FRS from UCD was Edward Conway, after whom the building that we're standing in, the Conway Institute, is, is named. Um, so it's, it's an honour to be stepping in Conway's footsteps and I think it's appropriate that both Conway and I both work on yeast. He's a physiologist, I'm an evolutionary biologist. And very different approaches but using the same organism. One of the great discoveries of the 20th century was this idea of the unity of life that all living organisms trace back to a common ancestor which is some sort of bacterium that lived four billion years ago. The genes that we have are direct copies of, of the first genes that existed. As they've descended, they've modified, they've picked up mutations and they've changed. So now our genes are very different from a bacterium's genes, but we can trace that process. And that, that's what I'm interested in doing, tracking the history of the genes that, that we contain. The really deep, groundbreaking breakthroughs um, are very hard to predict and the, uh, one of the best ways to, to get those breakthroughs is simply a scattergun approach, simply to, to give support to people who are doing good basic science, uh, to keep pushing their knowledge deeper and deeper and if you do that with enough people, um, some of them are going to discover really interesting and really uh, exciting things that actually will change the world. So receiving this, this, this award shows that, that very good basic science can be done in Ireland. So I'd like to acknowledge Science Foundation Ireland and the European Research Council for supporting my lab's work over, over the years and hopefully uh, continued good science in Ireland will, will give rise to, to future fellows as well.